In this example, we're going to be looking at how you can use WindShuttle's uh, data automation abilities to create a journal entry directly from Excel. Um, we'll walk through this example and you can see how easy it is to start getting that information in and out of SAP as quickly as you need. In this example, I'm using an FB50 template um, that, that I've worked on and created. You can actually find these templates available on our website. If you go to our um, out to our support site, we have over 80 different templates that have been pre-built and we've shared them with our customers. So this one here is for the journal entry posting and I've pre-populated some of, some of the information and I'm actually going to be using this to create multiple journal entries um, on a single run. So in this case, I have some header information Information. So my company code, my document header text, my document type, etc. Then I have the line item information over here. And these fields can be um, customized to whatever your business process needs to be. So I have some of this information here. And below this, I'm actually going to be creating another journal entry. So each of them has about 20 lines or so. And this last one just has a few lines. So one of the processes that we want to help with um, with WindShuttle is the ability to get data in not only quickly, but also accurately. So I filled out this information and users have the ability to go validate the information before it tries to get posted to SAP. So when I need to actually execute this against an SAP system, I've, I've logged into WindShuttle and I'm logged into a specific system. Now, if there is a, uh, another system that I'd like to use, um, I can say log into SAP and I can just select whichever system I'd like to use. So I have some stored credentials here that I'm using. So I'll select this system. And once I've selected the system, I have my data um, filled out. I wanna go ahead and validate this information. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the validate button. And it's going to start checking this data in SAP to make sure that it's all accurate before anybody tries to post it. So here I can see that I already have, uh, well, a couple errors. And on the next set, it looks like everything is correct. And the final set is everything is correct as well. So what it's done is actually gone through, checked all of this data in SAP directly in FB50, and it's backed out without saving before anything actually gets posted so that you'd find any errors that might come up in this data set. So some examples here, um, we're seeing line by line. So this specific line has an error. It says this GL account uh, does not exist. So entry that, that GL account. So if I'm looking at this, I may know, okay, well, I just missed a zero and I need to, I need to add a zero here. Maybe that one's okay. And then looking at this error, this cost center, um, 3111 doesn't exist. So if I scroll over to the right, um, you know, maybe it's something obvious, but maybe it's not. Maybe I don't actually know what my cost center is. Maybe I need to look that up. So we want to help people get this information in quickly. So just clicking into this cell, I can say look up values. And it'll actually bring up the SAP F4 lookup for me where I can fill in this information. So maybe I want to do a search, say, okay, what should it be? Okay, well, here's the cost center I should have found. We'll say, okay. And it'll enter that data for me. So once I've actually um, fixed those errors, and then I can retest. So I don't necessarily want to check all of the ones that I know were already successful. You know, if I only have 70 lines or so, it's pretty simple, I could just validate. But if I have 7,000 lines, I don't want to go through that process again. So I can say, click this drop down and say validate only the error rows. And now it's going to go back through and only check the ones that had failed previously. So this entry had failed. So it's going through, checking all of the data again. I apologize for the uh, slower connection here. So it's completed um, that that set of, of that journal entry, and it's and it's uh, validated that all of my data is correct now. So now that I've confirmed that everything is correct, now I can actually process this directly into SAP. I'll go ahead and hit run, and I'll give it a run reason. Just say um, we need to execute this. And now it's actually going to go into SAP and start creating these documents. So I can see my uh, first document there was posted. Uh, here's my second document. I can see the document numbers in these. 
and now my third document. In addition to being able to create these documents automatically in SAP through WindShuttle, we also have capabilities that help with things like document attachment. So if I scroll over to the right, it's actually pulled up um, these specific document numbers as well. And there may be an attachment to say that, uh, you know, this, this uh, file itself. So I have an option inside of this script to say, take this workbook and attach that workbook to any documents that you create in FB50. So when we go to SAP from an auditing perspective, we can see exactly what that data source was. I can see that this one has been um, uh, created and also the document, uh, the supporting document has been uh, attached successfully in SAP. So using these capabilities, uh, you can take this and you can even expand this further using WindShuttle Evolve to put an entire workflow around this, around custom processes. Perhaps this should go to uh, multiple levels of approvals before anybody, before it's ever actually posted to SAP. So you're able to take these pieces and put them together to match whatever your uh, business requirement is.